Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode on Valheim, the Outlander series. So, it's been a little while since I've been playing this game. In fact, it's been so long that the last time I was actually on here was a live stream. And we managed to get quite a significant amount of things done in that live stream. However, today is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be heading to an FOB, a forward operating base, which I have constructed off camera. And it's a... Uh, well, you'll see. You'll see what we're doing there. You'll see what we're doing there. It's essentially a new location for me. And it's a new place for me to essentially start looting and doing all sorts of cool stuff. So... Let me just store up some of this stuff here that I've got right here. Let me just store up some of this stuff right here. And we shall go a little adventure. I don't put that head in there. I'm not putting that head in there. Put that in there. I've got plenty of honey. I've got... Oh, I don't have enough... Uh, I don't have enough food, actually. I'm going to take a full stack, probably, of meat. But today's episode, we're going to be doing a little bit of gathering. We're going to be doing a little bit of uh, raiding. In the form of... You know, our favourite little locations, if you know what I mean. Our favourite little locations, which are ha which happen to be the underground uh, kind of dungeons and stuff like that. I do need to think about getting possibly another one of these put down. Eventually, I want to try and get a nice big hearth, a nice big hearth placed here somewhere. Maybe across this middle section right here. Is that what I think it is? Is that a... Grey Dwarf being a pain in the ass. It sounds like it. Right, what we're going to do is we're just going to cook off the rest of this meat. And what we... Oh. Oh, yeah! That's something else that we've got. Hold on. Blueberries. What else do we need? We need carrots. I've got carrots. Carrots. And cooked deer meat. Oh, yes. Let's craft some of these bad boys. Dear Stew. Let's just quickly grab that meat before it actually turns to cinders. We're going to get five of these, but this is going to give us 56 HP. That's pretty good. Now, that should be that should be good enough for uh, our food. However, I am going to change out for this, though. So, we've got a proper meal, we've got a dessert, and we've got a whole bunch of honey, and then we've got our backup meat as well. So as soon as this is stuff, stuff's all done, we are going to head to the new FOB. Now, I've I purposely not opened my map for this because I know where it is. I know exactly where it is. But you guys don't know where it is. So, we need to hop inside the boat. Hop in the boat and we need to go to our west. We need to go west because north of us is the island that we kind of visited and we did most of the dun dungeons on there. But in this one, this one's a little bit different. This one holds a boss. Now, we've already beaten Ektir, right? The next boss following Ektir is the Eldar. Now, the Eldar is a pain in the ass. Now, and including that, including the fact that he's a massive pain in the ass, um... The location in which I need to fight him is an absolute pain in the ass. And you'll see firsthand what I'm talking about. Because as we go along, we're just going to be sailing towards him, by the way. We're not going to be jump cutting here. We're essentially just going to be talking and sailing at the same time. And we've now got a storm on our hands. Perfect. That's what we need. That's just what we need. Thanks, game. Right, well... Oh my god, look at all the fish! Look at all the fish! I love. Do you know the best thing about this game is the fact that when you're when you're actually controlling the boat through all these storms, it looks so good. It looks so good. Look at that. The rain. Okay, maybe maybe the no clipping through the uh, through the waves is a wee bit much, but you can see the stark difference between the rain that passed by and the nice big glowing sunshine. It's so nice. This game's so so pretty. Now. For anybody that's just joining in right now, for anybody that's not actually watched any of my Valheim content, uh, this is indeed a modded playthrough. that I'm using this through the Thunderstore, um, and I've got a collection of mods that I'm using 
to, uh, to further increase the playability of the game and essentially make it more enjoyable for me, more challenging for me, but also providing a wee bit more content for you guys to actually see. What I'll do is if you have uh, the Thunderstore and you want to play these mods, this mod pack, there's a code down in the description. You can copy that code and input it to your Thunderstore and you can use the mods that I'm currently using on my playthrough. So if you're interested in that, hit up the, uh, hit up the description and you'll see firsthand what mods I'm actually playing with. I think this is where we need to be, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're in the location. I think we're here. I can see Black Forest right there. I can see the Black Forest. I think we're reaching our uh, our forward operating base. We are too. Ha <laughs> ha! So, we'll reach the FOB first, and then what we'll do is we'll go about doing some dungeons, and then we'll prepare ourselves physically, mentally, and emotionally for the fight with the Eldar. Or the Elder, if you want to call him that. I keep saying Eldar, Warhammer 40k. I <laughs> can't help it. I genuinely cannot help it. Okay, this is actually where the, El the, the Elder actually is. He's just on that cusp over there. You won't be able to see until we actually reach the render distance here, so... And there's a rock right there. You need to watch out for those rocks, ladies and gentlemen. You don't want to, don't want to beach your your boat on a rock. End up destroying it. There's the altar for the elder, or the elder. Sorry. There it is over there. Those pillars right there. That is the spawn location for the elder. Now it's a cool location, but for what the way that I like to kill him is using fire. But, oh, and there's the FOB rendered in. There it is. But yeah, that right there is where he spawns in. This is where you fight him. I tend to use campfires to cheese him. To kind of take him down a few notches. Because it's a lot easier that way. You can use fire arrows and stuff like that. That's, that's, that's something you can do. I just like using... I just like using campfires because I can spam them. Whereas with the, uh, with the, with the fire arrows running around and obviously dealing with the, the, the tentacles and stuff like that come out the ground. It's a wee bit much. But here's the FOB, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. And we're just gonna reverse this. Ever so gently. That's the wrong way. Reverse, reverse, reverse. I swear to God, I'm a very good... I'm, a, I'm an excellent captain. I say that and I'll go the wrong way again. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I, I swear I'm a good pilot or a captain, whatever you want to call me. Right, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. I'm using the momentum of this to actually just beat it a wee bit. Okay, this is good enough. This is good enough. Right. Now, there's nothing inside these chests right here. There's nothing in these. This is a very vacant location. However, I do have a bed here. I've got a bed here. I've got a campfire. I don't have any fuel. Oh, that's not good. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to do some dungeon raiding right now. We're going to do some dungeons. But here we go. There is the map. So this is the island that we visited at the top right. I had to go back from a boat here. I also did a wee bit of exploring over here as well. This is home base and this is the FOB with the Eldar. I actually mistakenly right clicked on his icon. Right clicking on an icon essentially disables it. It takes it away. So, oopsie. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to do some dungeon raiding. We're going to do some dungeon crawling. We're going to get some more circling cores, because the circling cores I'm going to be using at the FOB as well. We will be using them here. Uh, I'll, need to, I'll need to try and get myself some potential copper as well, some tin. But before we do that, we need to get 
circling cores in order to get the like, the kind of crafting stations that I need. And fortunately for me, this is a dark forest or a black forest. So there's going to be some dungeons here. Eat all that. Right, I'm not too fussed about them. I'm not too fussed about you either. Right, running through here. Oh, that's a good sign. There's got to be a tomb right here. There's the tomb right there. I want the uh, the Grey Dwarfs to come over here and start fighting these guys. There we go. Oh, he just got one shot, an absolute peach. Oh, he's a heavy boy, him. There we go. I am the victor. I am the victor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly set up a couple of campfires here. Dead. Cool. Let's get a couple of campfires put down. Oh, no stone. That's good enough. Come on then. Come on then. Bring your pretty face to me. I missed. I missed. I fired in a mist. Whoa! I missed again. Didn't miss that time, loser. Bonk! <laughs> right, can I place down another campfire? I can. There we go. The reason why I'm placing down a campfire outside of this location is if I get a wee bit too damaged inside here, I can come back out and I can just sit beside these uh, campfires, heal up. Oh shit, okay. We're going inside. Now, the question is, do I have... I have what it takes to make a torch. Right, so we're going to swap out. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. There's going to be some bad boys in here. Oh! Nice. Cleave our way through. Oh, hello. Whew. That could have went uh, poorly. We're also stacking a wee bit too much in the um, on the items here. A wee bit, wee bit fat on the items right now. Get rid of those heads. Oh no! Give me that. Give me the resin. I don't want... What do I not want? This wood. I want that. And I want that. I'm really... I'm really bringing across things that I shouldn't have brought across, but... Hey-ho. Mistakes were made. Oh, shit. Dead. Hello? Anybody home? Okay, this is the way. That sounds like a ghoul. That does not sound cool. Run back this way. The only way to go now is this direction. So hopefully we find at least two sir uh, Two circling cores or something like Oh, there's our target. Need to get rid of this. Nice. Oh, how many? Two, four, six. Oh, we're gonna get we're gonna get our circling cores all right. You know what? We'll take the money to take these perils because we can sell them. Yep, there it is. The Eldar, or the Elder. Sorry. I keep saying Eldar as if it's as if it's the 40k universe. <laughs> I can't help it. Uh, did I go through this? No, I didn't. 
Anything else to search here? Nothing else here. Anything in the corners? Nothing in that chest. Nothing on the ground. Right, double back. Oh, wait a minute. We didn't go through. Oh, hello. Oh, you need to die. You need to die. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, we're playing a dangerous game here. We're playing a very dangerous game here. Right, we'll hold here for just a second. We'll hold here for just a second. Our health is looking a little bit... A little bit naff, but we can hold here for a second. We'll get our HP back slowly. We went from 31 to 38, so we're getting 7 back. There we go. That's a good amount of HP coming back now. Let's get rid of those skeleton trophies. We've got 10 circling cores, which is perfect. That's that's more than ideal. Way more than ideal. Like, that's, that's a good amount. Bear in mind, this is a modded playthrough. We have increased the amount of uh, the amount of collectibles we get per per drop, so that's why you're seeing a lot of th oh shit. <laughs> right, I kind of need him to just stay there. We've only got 22 HP. Oh, did they break through? Oh no, they didn't break through. That's good. They can stay right there. Right, he's knocking down that. He's knocking that down. That's fine. Oh boy. Oh boy. I hope I get some HP back for this. 44. I want one more tick. One more tick of HP and then I can fight these guys. Before they start breaking that down. Right. Go, lads! Cool. We are warrior. Alright, more circling cores. Lots more amber. Lots more, uh... Ooh, gold. I like the gold. Give me the gold. Right. Now it's just a case of getting back to the FOB. Let's get back to the FOB. Now, all we need to do now is build a couple of furnaces. Ooh, it's um That was some that was some weird uh that was a weird change in the light in there. Oh there's a That's not cool. I need to dip. Gonna quickly activate my ectier power and hello! Woo hello! Run all the way over here. Get back to the FOB. Is that a one star? It's not a one star. Right, we could probably take these guys. Ouch. Oh! <laughs> Right, I need my need my HP, I need my uh, stamina back here. He's dead. Missed loser. You missed loser. Go swing. Okay then, I'll swing. Oh, victory is mine. Victory is mine. Right. Cool. We also ran out of uh, HP on the um, on the torch there, so that was actually quite well timed. Okay. Right. Now that we have the means to craft our own stuff here, now we can start thinking about getting a furnace and stuff like that placed over here. So, I need to think about where I'm going to place it. 
Oh, I could place it right here. Oh, that was the wrong thing to do. Oh, I could place it here. I mean, be, it'll be a little bit, a little bit wet. Just a little bit. Just a, just, just a smidgen on the wet side, but it's all right. Right, what do we actually need? We need 20 stones, right. 20 stones, right. Let's go stack up some stuff here. So, this is going to be the treasure chest, so... All the treasures, all the treasure. Treasure! Treasure! There we go. Oh! How convenient! I'll take those. You're carrying too much weight. Carrying too much weight. That's fine. Can I place these up here? Oh, I can! I can, I can too. Right, I need to be careful where I place these actually because if I place them in the wrong spot... Right, my character being this heavy is not good for me right now. Hold on. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! Right, chuck it. Ch chuck it, chuck it. There we go. And if I chuck in all the natural stuff, all that stuff... What's weighing me? Is it literally the circling cores that are weighing me down? It's the circling cores that are weighing me down. Right. Chuck that. Put that one there. And that one there. Yes! Oh, we've not got... Tell you what, actually. Break that down. Give me that. And I'll place you... Right there. Ah, alright, okay. Cool! Okay, we've got a smelting area over here now as well. That's really, really good. Right, whilst we're whilst we're here, uh, let's go. Get, let's do some gathering, shall we? We may as well do some of that. Do we have a box in here? We do have a box in here. I'm going to store up this meat and that. Oh, you know what we can do with that wood? Put it in that. Right. Uh, cool. I'm going to change to my uh, my flint axe. Because if I don't change to my flint axe uh, and I keep using this bronze axe, I will need to return home to repair it because we don't have a forge. So we may as well make use of some primitive tools whilst we've, whilst we've got the opportunity. Oh, all this. All the stone. Oh. Right, we'll knock down this, uh, this big spruce tree right here. Or, sorry, a fir tree. I'm gonna knock down a fir tree. It's a fir tree! And we've got a Scots pine! That, that was a very dramatic fall for that, uh, that tree right there. Very dramatic. Very dramatic indeed. Anyway. Now... I don't know what the best approach is to taking on the Elder. So, ladies and gentlemen, in the comments, how do you think I should take the Elder? Should I go about the cheesy method? Should I go about using campfires, raising the ground? Or should I go through through a different route? Should I maybe just face him off 1v... Well, I won't be able to, fa I won't be able to face him off 1v1 because what he does do is he calls in, like, weird, like, kind of viney tentacles, and they attack you. They'll straight up attack you. So I need to think of a way to try and beat them without having to deal with those stupid tentacles. Uh, by the way, we are just collecting, we are simply just collecting uh, wood at this point. And then I'm going to use my bronze pickaxe, and we're going to get some tin, and we're going to get some, hopefully, some copper as well. Unfortunately for me, I don't have any nails, so I'm going to have to do a lot of manual uh, 
like picking up and moving stuff here. I'd really like some more uh, some more wood, please. Thank you. My duke. Actually, I've got a spear here. I could deal with you right now instead of using my. Oh, that's not that's not cool. I do have a bow. It's not the best bow in the world, but it's a bow nonetheless. And it, it hits them for quite a good amount. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to use I didn't mean to use it. I didn't mean to use the thing. Oh no, I didn't mean to use that. Oh, do you know what we could do? We could actually upgrade our bow game right now. Where is there a meadows? That's where we want to go. Right. If I can get to that meadow, I can get myself some fine wood. And with fine wood comes a fine wood bow. And fine wood bows do a lot better than dinky ass primitive bows. Oh, it's full. It's full. Oh, yes. Let's go. Right. Now we need to put that in there. Excellent. We've got some charcoal. We have ample amounts of wood. Which we can store up right here. I say that. We've actually got only got one stack of it. It's okay. Chuck all this stuff in here. That's okay. We've got another, another chest. Right. Let's go find some uh, some tin and stuff. Let's go find the the ores. There's actually some ore right here. Yeah. Tin deposit. So the tin side of things is going to be relatively easy because it's. Well, it's, it's, it's very easy. I mean, look, I've got three deposits right here. It's no difficult to get it either. Yeah. What we can do is we can just chuck that in here. There we go. Fabulous. And with one of these crates, I'll just quickly do this. Furniture. Oh, yeah, large ra rafts. I forgot about those things. Put that there. Chuck that in there. I'll go grab that charcoal too. And we'll actually move that over to there. There we go. Yes. Yes. Let's go get some more. Ladies and gentlemen, quickly pick up the ones that I've got over here as well. Number three, number three, that bronze pickaxe. I will have to take out that uh, that spawner though. That's gonna be that's gonna be probably my next task because that's gonna cause a lot of problems with me. Oh, nine minutes and forty seconds before I can enable uh, Ektir's power again. That's fine. We'll just have a wee nosy around here. So what we're looking for here now, ladies and gentlemen, is essentially some copper. That is a lot of wood. Now, the thing is, I don't want to be overburdened when I've got this stuff. I want to be very agile because I'm... Jesus, all the bloody tin deposits over by my base. Crazy. Alright, so we already did... Ooh, Hello. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Anything to get blueberries. Anything for blueberries. Anything for these things because blueberries get me Queen's Jam. And I like Queen's Jam because it's good for the old stuff. Oh, shit. Okay, there's no, no copper on that big rock. So we need to go somewhere else. There could be one close close at hand here. Is that copper? That doesn't look like copper to me. 
Nope. No copper on that big stone. All we're looking for... Oh, ho, 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 ho. If I can find blueberries, I will take the blueberries. I will let myself get hit for getting uh, blueberries. Because I love blueberries in this game. Oh, shit. Could you just behave, please? If you throw the spear, it does a lot more damage. There we go. Just avoid this side because I don't want to get caught with that. That there, eh, uh, what do you call it? Was that a red skeleton? That is a red skeleton. Oh, man. I'm hoping he didn't see me. He didn't see me. Cool. Where is that troll? There he's there. Is that copper? No copper. How far away am I getting away from this FOB? Now, the other thing that I've done as well is... Yeah, I've set my spawn back at the FOB. I've actually set my spawn there, so... If I do get killed... I can... Ha ha! I can at least run back and grab my stuff. Without having to go back to my main base, which is an... A completely different island. Quickly grab all this stuff and chuck it out. Get out my inventory. Oh, wow, there's two there's two copper nodes right beside each other. How about that? Okay, so it's I think it's two copper and one tin. Oh hello. Oh, they don't leave you alone, do they? They really don't like to leave you alone. They really do not like to leave you alone. Right. Gathering more copper. The reason why I'm gathering copper right now, as well, is to essentially build myself a, a forge or a... Um, oh my god, they just appeared out of nowhere. Oh, what is weighing me down? Right, if it's 2 to... So if I do 6 to 12... Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark here uh, with a wee white dot. Copper. Cool. Let's run back to the house with this stuff. Hope. Oh, wait, 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 wait. All the food I can muster as well. That's always a good thing to have. Right, that troll is just chilling out looking at uh, the elder's uh, call in portal or call in location. Just a shame this wasn't copper, because that would be really handy. Right. Get my stamina back. Plenty of, uh, plenty of resources around here. That's what makes the Black Forest really good. The only thing that you need to deal with is trolls and grey dwarfs, and the brutes, and the shamans. So pretty much everything. Pretty much everything. <laughs> Can we see that? No, we can't. I thought we'd be able to see the uh, the troll from our our location, but it turns out we can't. You know, all that wood's going to be very beneficial because as soon as we walk in here, there's going to be lots of charcoal. Yes. Magic. Okay. We've got tin. We have the tin. Tin man. And we've got ample blueberries as well. 
absolutely dozens of them as well. Right. That's the gold chest, that's random chest, that's also a random assortment chest. I'm going to take that wood out and I'm just going to... There we go. Make sure that that's topped up with coal. Okay, now we can go and deal with the, uh, the spawner. Let's go deal with the spawner. Because it is, it is in the way. And I don't want it to be in the way. And it also provides... Uh, I think it's called Hearts of the Forest, these things. Ancient seeds. Ancient seeds. So the ancient seeds are what, what I need in order to spawn the Elder. Come on then. Come on then. I'll just wait for him. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Oh, he's a one star. He's a one star. Right. I'm going to switch to my flint, flint axe. That sounded like a lot, of, a lot, a lot of a, uh, a lot of deer. Oh man, not these things again. Right, switch back to this. Out for the count, shaman. Oh, we're warriors. We're warriors, boys. Out for the count. Thank you. Get the eyes away. Get the, the spew berries away, because they're not fun. They are literally spew berries, by the way. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't say any other way. They're spew berries. You eat them, you spew. Right, oh, that's the, that's the tomb. I'm not going to go back to the copper just now. I'm just going to see if there's anything, if there's any copper closer. Uphill here. Right, so that's the... Uh, the troll's cave. And the question is, is there any more copper nodes around here? There should be. Aha! Is that further? Or is that that is further? But it's more of a straight line at that point. Unlucky, pal boy. Right, let's get mine in here. Lovely. As I said, we don't need we don't need a super duper amount of copper. We just want to get the workbench. We just want to get the 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 forge work, workbench, and that's all we re all I really want. Because it allows me to repair all my copper stuff, and if I've got a a crafting station here where I can do that, then it's perfect. What a pain in the ass you are. What a pain in the ass you are, sir. Come here. Unlucky. Don't come back. Stay in your trees. Excuse me. That's rude. Silly grey dwarfs. Right, we've got 20 copper here. I think we can go home. Gonna eat some food. Okay, time to head home. I think I'm heading home. Yeah, south. Of course I'm heading home. Silly bugger. 
This game's always so pretty when the when the the lights pierce through the trees. Okay. So we might be we may be able to uh we may be able to do a a crafting bench maybe. Oh, that's not cool. He's kind of just in the way. Right, I need stamina. Go. I'm hoping he doesn't... They actually gave me a nudge. That was quite funny. What a pain in the ass. Guy was literally standing in the way of my, my, my land bridge. Back to my... Back to my FOB. Luckily enough, I can swim, so... Stuff him. Alright! Cool! Ooh. Oh, get it smelting. Get it smelting. Right. What do I need for... Oh, six copper is what I need. Have we got six? Oh, we do. We've got ample copper. Ooh. Right, what do we need? We need charcoal, stone, and wood, really. Charcoal. Stone. Stone. And some wood. We require require wood. It seems as though we need to go back outside and get some wood. These two trees might just do the job. That'll do. Can we do it? I think we can do it. Let me in. Oh, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. And now... There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent. And we've still got loads more. Still got loads more to actually do here. Just going to fill up that fuel. Fill up the uh, overall container itself. Go back over here. Drop all my duds in there. Cool. We're Gucci. We're absolutely grand right now. Absolutely grand. Now it's just a case of waiting for everything to get smelted up. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be today's episode on Valheim. I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have. If you did... Leave a thumbs up on this video. Click like. And hey, if you wanna if you wanna tell me how to beat the Eldar your way, let me know in the comments below. And let me know how you're feeling about this series as well. I love this game. Like I mean, just look at it. Look at that. Look at the sky. Look at that. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely magnificent. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been enjoying this series as well as my other series on the channel and you've still not subscribed, please consider subscribing, ring the little bell, you'll stay up to date with videos just like this, as well as a Sunday night live stream, which starts between 6 and 7pm UK. We go for about 3-4 hours playing my ga main game called Scum, but I will be playing Valheim and a variety of other games on the stream as well. That including a Warhammer 40k painting stream as well. I like Warhammer 40k, I like the lore, I like the minis, I collect the minis, and I do all sorts of cool stuff on stream. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it from me today and I can't believe that brute just came over and destroyed my light what a vandal you know what I'm gonna get his ass I'm gonna get his ass anyway ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching today as always I've been Mr. Feudal thank you very much for watching I'll see you all another time